Neolith edition. The Neolith stat panel is one of the largest panels Martin Logan has ever made. It actually has more surface area than the Statement E2. The only product we ever made that had more surface area was the original Statement. The original Statement had a roughly three foot by six foot panel. It's a long time ago and we only made a handful. So what allowed for a larger stat panel on the Neolith was the scope of the project. The benefit of having a large stat panel is that the speaker can play loudly, cleanly, and effortlessly. So Neolith is one of the largest cabinets we've had the opportunity to work with. One of the disadvantages of dealing with a fixed size cabinet, depending on how you tune it, you could get it to play maybe down to 40 hertz and have a lot of output, or you could get it down to play pretty low, like down to 20 hertz, but you wouldn't get as much sensitivity from it. To get both of those, you just need a big volume of air to be able to compress as the woofers move in and out and generate pressure outside of the cabinet. The larger box volume allows you to both play lower and louder. Well, the Neolith is a heavy speaker, and there's several reasons why, but the main one is the cabinet material. The cabinet is made of phenolic, which is a heavy, dense, resin-type material that's nearly inert. We chose the material because of its heaviness and denseness. As the woofer moves, it creates forces into the cabinet that can make a cabinet vibrate. And the easiest way to stop that vibration is just to make the cabinet heavy and dense. So when the woofer moves, the cabinet's so heavy, it just stays still. So if you have Neolith speakers that are very heavy and you're trying to move them, first of all, you need at least two people, three is better, and follow the instructions. Really, you need to follow the instructions. So the Neolith features gold-plated jumpers. They're physical pieces of metal that you can move from one position to another. We found this to be the most robust way to make changes to the acoustics of the product. One of the things we found when measuring the Neolith was that the response of the stat panel changed as we changed our distance away from it. The panel, although mostly directional at its lower frequency extremes, does direct some sound to the ground. Well, that sound was bouncing off the ground and coming back to the listening position a little bit later in time, later enough that it was subtracting from the lower frequency response. The effect was that as you got farther away, the low end of the panel was decreasing in output. The listening distance jumpers allow the front woofer to fill in the areas that are reduced by the cancellation effect. All speakers suffer from some form of ground bounce issues. We felt with the Neolith, the best way to address it was head on, give the user the controls they need to get the best sound from the speaker possible. <laughs>